And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Minecraft. All right, we are getting set. I've got a new set of armor on. Oh, yeah, I got the Flux Infused Armor. The crafting system for this um, basically is, you know, it just takes a lot of redstone, basically. Just a lot of redstone. So this little redstone system that we have over here uh, got a little workout. And yeah, so basically you, each one of these, same kind of crafting recipe as all the, the vanilla things, only it uses this fluxed armor plating. This fluxed armor plating is made with four fluxed electrum plates with a flux crystal. Okay, and you need, of these, you need 24, the fluxed armor plating. So the fluxed electrum plate, you need 96 of these and only 24 flux crystals. Flux crystals in the fluid transposer is just a diamond with redstone getting infused, gives you the flux crystal. And the flux electrum, basically you can put electrum into the fluid transposer and infuse it with redstone and you get the flux electrum. Then you smelt that in the induction smelter with sand and then you compact that into the plates with the compactor that we have right over here. So yeah, I upgraded this thing because I was compacting a lot. 96 plates. Uh, and then you just craft them up and uh, they get powered. Each one of these is 800,000 power and uh, you're set to go. And uh, it's a pretty good, pretty good armor set. The next thing we want to do to take care of when we start mining, we need some magnets. Now that we have a large amount of power saved up we can use power systems which is why i have a power based set of armor now <clears throat> so ring of magnetizing uh, we have the regular one from actually editions and then we have a bobble so we actually have bobbles installed here so we can actually use that but we need to get the first set the first ring here first so we're gonna have i'm gonna make like three of these basic rings. I crafted, I, I smelted up some more gold for this purpose. And then the ring of magnetizing is some Inori crystals, some lapis lazuli, and some Restonia. So we're going to have one of these here, one of these here, because uh, Flower's going to want one. And then this other ring, I'm actually going to craft... Oh, wait. Uh... It's uh, G R O W T. The Ring of Growth. I haven't ever used this. I kind of want to see what this does. Um, so we're going to put this here and let this charge up. And uh, we're going to make these the bobble. So this is a bobble, and this one's now a bobble. Let's get. Is that the only way it charges up if it's in my hand? Okay. I think so. So, we've got the ring now. So if we go over here, it's uh, on now. Do you want to harvest the, the wheat? And we'll see what we can see. Let's uh, take this out. And the bobble, if we put it in here, it will automatically start getting charged up with our lovely battery. And then the, the wireless is charging the battery. So it's all good. So we'll see if this ring of growth is actually all it's set up to be. Give it a little test here. I haven't, I haven't ever tested this thing. Kind of curious to see how good it is. Okay, so that is a nice harvested field. Let's go over here. You can see it's basically, it's using what looks like 10,000 RF every time it does it, but it looks like it's 
like automatically bone me bone mealing the plants I don't know what pattern it uses it looks like it's almost the it's same it's almost like that 9 by 9 like if you stand stood in the middle like it would work for the whole Well, maybe not the whole thing, but really close. It looks like, yeah, it's seven by seven, maybe. But it's weird. It's a weird pattern. It's like out in either, either direction. It's a really weird pattern. Because it goes out all four directions, but it's not doing anything for the diagonals. So if I went... If I moved over one, would it start doing these? These two here? Yeah, it kind of does. Because this one over here wasn't doing it before. Oh, I just clicked. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird, that's a weird pattern. It's like it's not doing any of the diagonals and it's You're taking right. it is a weird pattern yeah if you look at it from above it's a really mm -hmm. weird like goes out three and then side two and that's that's all it is so i'm gonna put this in the system because it's it consumes a lot of power and i've got a ring for you there you go so yay magnet ring uh, I think mine is active I see I see a little glowiness so to deactivate it you put it in your hand and you shift right click it and it ends the glowiness you can shift right click it again and it starts glowing and that means it is active and you can uh, pop that in your bobble slot and uh, yeah we now have a magnet which is wise it's a wise thing to do when you're doing a lot of mining so uh, let's get an elevator and let's see I would like an elevator or two uh, let's go three I'm gonna go one more did you make them pink I didn't not yet no that's not my job I'm not the pinkerizer I don't think you can dye them after you make them. Um, well, maybe not. Well, I just made three. So this is the exact center of our of of both of those center lines going across. So this, I want this to be the elevator up here. And I've already jotted that coordinates down. Uh, minus 388 and 246 so when we go down we'll be able to see just how much we need to go down okay uh, let's shift click this I'm gonna take out the upgrades the three and the five out of my drill because when I go down I want to be able to just go down one at a time so one two three four so this right here I'm going to carve this out. So that's one, two, three. And then the fourth, this is going to be a brick. This is going to be a brick uh, ceiling. Because the basement is the basement. It doesn't need to be fancy. We're going to do fancy up at top. Um, so let's go down one more. I said one more, Mr. Vein Miner. This is where things get interesting because wow we are going to be able so i'm going to put the three by three in here and i'm going to slap a torch so people can actually see uh, now we need to figure out our width and our breadth here so lots and lots of things going on here so our exact center i kind of want to mark it here so let's mark it with some dirt so right in here, so 
I want to put a little grass block on the top because it should be the only grass down here. And that's our exact center. So we want to go quite a ways. We want this basement to be big enough to really expand our factory. And let's mark this off with some dirt again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's number 10 right there. I want to put one of these here. Okay, and then one, two, three. Oh, I'm going to need to go a few more. I like to get my my northeast southwest set up, and then we can you know carve out the top of the top of this basement, and then we can dig it however deep we want. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's ten. So that's twenty this way, and I'm going to do another twenty that way. So it's basically a forty-one by forty-one room, with however tall we want it. It's probably going to be about, oh, I would say 12 to 14 blocks tall. I mean, it's going to be a big room. There's no doubt about that. And the cool thing is, you know, with all the stuff that you dig up, you can actually fill in uh, what you aren't going to use. So you can fill this in with whatever. And then this with the stone that we get will be the back wall just like that so that is that extent there so one thing that we're going to need uh, to really give us a lot of space instead of using that void sack which only has space for like one yeah it only has space for like one uh, no, I think it's four. I think it's four blocks to void. Uh, we're going to go to a mod called Dank Null. And this is, takes over the, the Dev Null block type. And uh, we're going to go right up to, I think, the diamond tier. Uh, maybe, how many diamonds do we have? Uh, how many emeralds do we have? Not very many emeralds either. So we might have to go with gold. Block of coal. Holy cow, blocks of coal? Really? Uh, how many of these? Four each, and we need five for these. So that's four, eight, 12, 16, 20 blocks of coal. We don't have enough coal. Yeah, we don't have enough coal. What a weird situation to be in. Um, I so, can go out and look for some. Well, we have some coal ore. I just didn't think. Oh. I just didn't think we were gonna use that much. So I'm gonna get my fortune pick here. I have mine in my hand. Fortune three. Fortune three, all right. Okay. Pound it. Yay. <laughs> oh yeah, great. You 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 get all the experience. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so I want you got you know two two and a two and a quarter stacks. So there's twenty blocks of coal. Uh, I want marble, I want all this stuff. So andesite, granite, stone. Uh, let's see, lime, I want limestone, marble, stone, andesite, granite, limestone, marble, dirt. Well, we may want a lot of dirt because we need it. We have a lot of stuff to fill in. So let's uh, let's see. Gold dank null panel. 
and we need some yellow stained glass. Really? Uh, gee. I think I can do this and then yellow. Yes. Now I should be able to do this. One, two, three, four, five. And there it is. So I can shift right click on this and say stone. No, not elevator. Uh, andesite. Granite. Limestone. Marble. And that should be good. Diorite? Ooh, yeah, diorite. I almost forgot about that. Diorite, yes. Okay, so control click to change mode. So you can actually like shift scroll wheel with this thing and change what's in there. The very bottom right of your screen shows you a little thing. Um, and it shows you how many it has. Now the, the, the larger, the more advanced the dank null, the better. Uh, it holds a lot more. Um, and I'm a little, I'm not sure how much the gold level keeps, how many stacks. Because I'd want quite a lot of dirt. So one thing we can do in order to make this a little bit faster is create a system where we can put things into uh, our applied energistic system automatically and we got lots you know we got quite a bit of storage space left uh, we haven't used very much at all so one thing I like to do is do an ender chest and these can be colored just like the ender tanks and my for some reason I've settled on uh, using orange 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 as my sort of catch-all for the ender chests for my system so I want to make a couple ender chests here uh, I don't know why I made two I only need one so let's put one of these in my in there so this thing can sit uh, this is like the absolute minimalist AE system I've ever built. Uh, I'm going to put the chest right there. And we are going to need an import bus. Right here. I haven't done any AE stuff in a while. So we need a sticky piston. And then an import bus. And we need some acceleration cards. That is a must have. For this system so it pulls things in really really fast okay so we're gonna have this with acceleration cards and it's gonna be able to pull things into this chest how are we gonna put things into this chest from from down in the basement that uh, is via an ender pouch which is pretty much crafted like that, only again, we want the orange wool in there instead, which gives us an ender pouch. And uh, I'm sure Bauer wants one. Oh! Uh, hold shift, by the way, to temporarily disable your sweet, sweet magnet ring. Uh, all right, so now we have an ender pouch. We can, if you open the ender pouch, it opens the chest. So these things are eternally linked. I can put my stone into here, and it's pulled into the system automatically. So like ores that we get, you know, miscellaneous things that we get, we can push right into the system and it can um, handle that just fine. So I can put like dirt in there and it will pull dirt into the system. So we, you know, we have more dirt than we started with. 
So all of that goes together to make for some pretty fast mining. Uh, the dank null is good for collecting those things you don't need a lot of. We don't need a lot of stone because we actually have a drawer over here with 65,000 stone. So we don't need to keep a lot of stone. And I, and I try not to place blocks with this because it doesn't do a block update. Like if I placed um, one of these blocks right here, Flower probably wouldn't see it actually place, uh, which is unfortunate. So yeah, bad times uh, are had by all when it comes to that stuff. So yeah, we are ready to start digging a basement. And again, this is going to be a 41. Don't, don't just ignore this. That's a bug with journey map right now. Um, it's going to be a 41 by 41 basement. And then the one under that is going to be even bigger. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty big. So this, this first one, this is going to be where all of our automation stuff is. Um, and where ma the majority of our AE system will be. And from there, we're going to be, we're going to be doing good. We'll be able to move over here very, very soon. But we got a lot of digging to do, and I really don't want to do that on camera because it's not the it's not the most enjoyable thing to watch. So, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to get started, and that'll do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.